Hello, my name is Ruzki Alia and this is an OSCE station video. Uh, in this video we'll be uh, teaching you how to uh, suture a wound. So let me first introduce you to our patient. Hello, my name is Ruzki Alia, I'm a medical student here. Uh, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yeah, uh, my name is Alex Russell and uh -huh. um, I was born on the 24th of May 1990. Okay, and how old does that make you? 20. Okay. Um, I've been asked by the doctor to come and have a look at your wound. Yeah. So I'm here to talk about your wound and what to do next. Is this okay with you? Yes. Yeah, okay. So how did you manage to get the uh, the wound on your hand? Oh, I just cut it on some glass. Okay. Did you did you fall on glass? Yeah. yeah fall okay. On. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. So what we need to do is to bring together the edges of the wound, and using a needle and some string attached to the needle. Uh, stitch the wound up and close the wound and this will reduce the risk of infection and bleeding uh, and uh, you know any further problems. Uh, there are some uh, complications involved. Uh, you, you might feel some pain during the uh, stitching procedure and afterwards as well and there's still a risk of bleeding and a risk of infection. Uh, I'm just telling you this so that you can make an informed decision. Yeah. Is this okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. So if it's okay with you, I can go ahead and uh, stitch the wound up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you fine with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any pain in that area now? Yeah, um, yeah slight pain. I can just feel it. Okay. Yeah. Did anyone take an x-ray? Uh, yeah, I think the nurse Okay. Did. And did they tell you anything? Did they find anything? Um, um, no, just okay, something. I see. Okay. And has the area been cleaned? Yeah, I think so. Okay, did they clean and uh, did they give you something to make it numb? Yeah, it feels a little bit sort of numb now. Okay, I see. Um, do you have any allergies, especially latex allergies? Uh, no, not that I know of. Okay. Have you had uh, your uh, vaccinations, like the tetanus jab? Yeah, a few years ago. Okay, and do you have any issues with needles? No, no, I'm fine with needles. Okay. Would you like someone to be here to just to give you some support and comfort? Yes, no? Okay, yeah. okay. So if it's okay with you, I'm just going to go uh, wash my hands and prepare the equipment. Okay. And then we can begin. Right. Okay. So th just bear with me for a moment. If you, have, if you have any questions or any concerns, do let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm just, I'll be right with you. Okay. And now we move on to getting our equipment ready before you move on to, to suture the wound. So firstly we need a sterile trolley. Uh, trolley. This will be provided in the examination. And you'll have your suture pack here. And you need some sterile gloves, unopened ones, and some sutures. And you should definitely have a, uh, a uh, sharp spin. Uh, make sure you just put it on the floor somewhere around here. Uh, so firstly, remember at this point you ha your hands are not sterile, so take extra care when you uh, do this. So you need to open this uh, sterile suture pack up with minimal contact as possible. Okay, so we open it as such and then we open the gloves onto the sterile area. So as a way of opening it, it's like this. So you open it onto the area. Make sure you get the right size gloves. And your sutures, uh, make sure it's the right size. The, check the, uh, the gauge of the needles. And also make sure that you check for the expiry date. Make, uh, this one's in date. So check for the expiry date of the sutures and open that one onto the sterile field like that. So after this you should move on to wash your hands. Uh, wash your hands with uh, soap and water from your wrist maybe up to around here and then you're ready to uh, move on to put the sterile gloves on and then the suturing itself. So I'll just show you how, so after I washed my hands with soap, soap and water uh, my hands are now uh, now have been washed, so firstly, I'm I'm free to touch this area now, but still I try to keep it with minimal touch as possible. Uh, they'll teach you how to put the sterile gloves on, but I'm um, just show you for your benefit anyway. So remember, we're trying to these these areas are sterile, whereas the top bit is not sterile. Uh, well. <laughs> so put the gloves on as such 
and this is the reason it helps to have the right size gloves so put make sure it's on nicely and you can put it to the side and arrange the equipment uh, the way you want it to be Okay, so now we have uh, we have the equipment ready over here, and we have our makeshift patient over here. Uh, pretend it's a patient. So um, before you begin, once again, confirm with the patient: Are you okay? If they're in any pain, and if everything's okay with them. So the first thing you do is after you've uh, arranged your um, equipment, uh, take the forceps. And just tell the patient, I'm just going to feel around the area to make sure that it is numb. Uh, so this is to check if the area has been anesthetized. So just gently uh, place the forceps and apply gentle pressure uh, around the area and ask them, can you feel that? Do you feel any pain? They should be able to feel the pressure, but they should, they should not feel any pain. So when they've uh, given, uh, told you that they don't, they don't feel any pain, you can move ahead. So... <coughs> Using the forceps, uh, you should draw the needle out of the pack and make sure uh, that you don't touch the needle at any point uh, during the procedure. So this is fine, hold on to this. Okay, and so position the needle the way it's most comfortable for you and make sure that the, 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 the thread of the, uh, the thread doesn't move away from the sterile area so firstly using this pinch uh, you should always do the first suture in the middle of the wound so pinch the uh, this side of the wound as such and pass the needle like that Okay, so place your forceps, forceps like that. So two rotations like that. And get a hold of the uh, short end. So we've done one suture. We can so after you've done the second suture, you should make sure make sure that you dispose of of the of the uh, the needle in the sharps bin as such and then make sure you remove all the uh, equipment from around the patient now that we stitch the uh, stitch the wound up we just uh, tell the patient about some uh, important uh, points regarding aftercare so i've stitched the wound up for you sir okay. how are you feeling now yeah i'm fine okay uh, a nurse will come and put a dressing on that for you. Sure. Uh, please do make sure that you keep the uh, the wound and the area around it clean and dry. Mm -hmm. um, if you you can have a shower, but if you do have a, a please try not to have a bath. And if you do have a shower, 
please uh, put a plastic bag or some cling film on top of the wound so that water doesn't get into the area. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you swim? Um, sometimes. Okay. Uh, try not to go for a swim until the wound heals properly. Okay. Um, if you do feel any pain, any, if, if there's any bleeding, any discharge, any change in color of the area, or if you feel a fever, or feel, uh, you know, anything out of the normal, mm -hmm. please feel free to, uh, please do come into A&E straight away and we'll be able to help you out. Um, the, we'll have an appointment with the GP in about five to seven days uh, to, have this, to have the stitches taken off. And that should be it. Okay, okay. do you have any questions for me? No. If you do have any questions, do feel, feel free to ring us up or come into a &E if, if you want. Yeah. Okay? Cool. Okay, and thank you very much. I hope you do get well, very, yeah, uh, yeah, so well right. soon. So do I. And yeah, thank you. And uh, have a safe journey home. <laughs> okay, so that concludes our suturing station. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you found it useful. So, goodbye. <laughs>